Portland, Oregon is a distinctly offbeat, vibrant, and eccentric city, and Portlanders wouldn't have it any other way. Portland has been affectionately labeled as weird for many years. While it often gets overshadowed by the much larger city Seattle up north, Portland is still one of the metropolitan epicenters of the country. The City of Roses is well known to be a haven of progressive liberal ideals, food trucks, and artsy creative types. It's a city with rich and colorful culture and diversity. Portlanders certainly know how to have a good time. And regardless of your age, interests, and political affiliations, there's something for just about everyone in this eclectic Pacific Northwestern city. Join us as we take an exploratory journey of some of Stumptown's best sights and attractions. Voodoo Donuts Now, you might be wondering why we're listing a donut shop as one of the premier tourist destinations. Well, for starters, let's go ahead and say it. Voodoo Donuts are probably not the best donuts you'll ever have in your life, but they are certainly unique. Voodoo routinely shows up on lists of top tourist destinations in the city, and because of that, they almost always have a line extending way past their front door. The donuts they whip up fresh daily are highly reflective of the overall weird vibe of the city. You can sink your teeth into popular offerings like maple bacon or Cap'n Crunch covered raised yeast donuts, or get a little more adventurous with a hibiscus frosted ring or maple frosted cinnamon sugar blunt shaped treat. They even have a ring that's coated in bubblegum dust served with a piece of double bubble on top. A lot of travel guides tend to overhype voodoo a bit. These aren't the absolute pinnacle of pastry perfection, but a visit to Voodoo is still an experience you should have at least once. If you prefer a more traditional donut, however, we also highly recommend checking out Blue Star Donuts, a local favorite with multiple locations throughout the city. Washington Park Portland is a city with many parks, but perhaps the best is Washington Park. It's been called the city's crown jewel. Here you'll find one of the largest Japanese gardens in the world outside of Japan, as well as the International Rose Test Garden, the Oregon Zoo, Portland's Children's Museum, Hoyt Arboretum, and miles of trails. Being just a 20-minute light rail trip from downtown, Washington Park is a great way to experience some of Portland's greenery without having to venture too far out of town. The park's International Rose Garden, which features more than 10,000 roses, was established in 1917 by the American Rose Society and served as a sanctuary for European-grown hybrid roses during the First World War. It's today the oldest continuously operated public rose test garden in the U.S. As you might have suspected, this historic garden is also one of the major reasons why Portland earned its nickname the City of Roses. The Japanese Garden, which happens to be our favorite section of the park, is the perfect spot to experience zen-like peace and serenity. This tranquil 12-acre Japanese traditional garden is comprised of eight separate gardens that reflect different styles of Japanese gardening techniques. There's also a Japanese tea house adjacent to the garden, where visitors can experience a traditional tea ceremony. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Viewcation for more. Piddock Mansion This breathtaking French Renaissance-style mansion, which can be found on the west side of town, was built in 1914, the year that marked the beginning of World War I. It was originally owned by a wealthy family from England and is now included in the National Register of Historic Places. The 46-room estate sits on a 40-acre well-curated plot of land and contains gorgeous pieces of art and furniture that were collected by the mansion's original owners. You can either take a guided tour of the grounds or explore it by yourself. Either way, Piddock Mansion gives guests a glimpse into the lives of one of Portland's most influential historic families while getting to know the pioneer spirit behind the city's transformation into a modern industrialized city. Portland Art Museum The Pacific Northwest's oldest art museum is also home to Oregon's finest collection of artwork featuring incredible pieces from all over the world. You can see works from some of the most prestigious European masters, Japanese screen prints, and even contemporary pieces by American artists. 
The museum's Native American gallery showcases more than 5,000 ancient and modern artifacts from more than 200 tribes, and there's a lovely sculpture garden that provides guests with a peaceful place to take a load off while appreciating these majestic stone creations. Make sure you give enough time to fully explore everything that this world-class art museum has to offer. Its large collection spans three connected buildings and can be a bit of a maze to navigate. As such, it's easy for someone to get lost. Fortunately, maps are available to guide you to the exhibits that most interest you. Powell's City of Books This is the biggest independent used bookstore on the planet and is home to over a million books. It opened its doors in 1971 and it spans an entire city block. There's no way you'll be able to explore all the store's 3,500 sections, but it's a great place to spend a couple of hours exploring and searching for a good read. We recommend focusing on just a few sections that interest you, otherwise it's easy to get overwhelmed. Oregon Museum of Science and Industry If you're traveling with children and need to figure out something entertaining to do on a rainy day, the Oregon Museum of Science and Industry is a great place to spend a few hours. This hands-on museum turns learning into a dynamic, fun, and exciting experience. With five wings and eight interactive labs filled with exhibits covering physics, paleontology, chemistry, and more, this is far more than your average science museum. Even if you don't have children and just consider yourself a kid at heart, this place packs a whole lot of wholesome fun inside its walls. Forest Park Located just 10 minutes from the heart of downtown on the northeastern edge of town, Forest Park is the largest urban park in the U.S. Featuring over 70 miles of hiking and biking trails and 5,000 acres of wild woodland, Forest Park is the perfect place to go take a break from the hustle and bustle of the city without really even having to leave it. There are also over 100 species of birds that can be seen here in addition to over 60 species of mammals. It's also home to the Witch's Castle, an old abandoned stone structure that's covered in a lush layer of bright green moss. Fiki Butcher, Peculiarium and Museum Portlanders have historically been very proud of their city's weird status, so much so that the town's unofficial slogan is, Keep Portland Weird. This spooky museum and gift shop is a great spot to pick up a souvenir that reflects the peculiar spirit of the city. Reminiscent of larger auditoriums like Ripley's Believe It or Not, this fun yet small museum has exhibits that showcase the strange, unusual, and downright absurd. You'll be fascinated by the freaky oddities that can be found behind every corner. Whether you're an adult horror or sci-fi fan or an imaginative child, you'll likely find yourself thoroughly entertained while touring this proudly bizarre facility. Columbia River Gorge If you're looking to get a little fresh air and stretch your legs, you'd be hard-pressed to find a more scenic place to do so. The Columbia River Gorge is designated a National Scenic Area and is the largest one in America. Located about an hour east of the city by car, the gorge offers adventure and some of the most stunning views in the region. It's also a lovely place to have a picnic or read a book under a shady tree. A few sites worth seeing are Multnomah Falls, the tallest waterfall in Oregon, the slightly less impressive but still noteworthy Bridal Veil Falls, and a hundred-year-old observatory called the Vista House. Pearl District What used to be a rundown warehouse district is now one of the most happening neighborhoods in Portland. The streets of this trendy district are packed full of cafes, galleries, boutiques, restaurants, and breweries. During the day, it's a great spot to grab a cup of coffee or some lunch, and by night, it transforms into one of the best nightlife scenes in the city. Craft beer fans should definitely check out the Deschutes Brewery and Public House, where you'll be treated to amazing cuisine and a plethora of seasonal and experimental draft beer offerings. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any favorites of yours from Portland? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Viewcation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.